the American bison, a majestic mammal stronger than the fist of American foreign policy, overshadowed, underrated, unappreciated, plagued by the ignorance and overindulgences of a budding civilization and its people. Sturdy haunches and a healthy diet of grass and sedges has sustained this population for centuries. However, the efforts of the society that almost destroyed this regal beast has propelled this mammal from the brink of extinction back into the forefront of the American plains as well as the American image. If a daddy's rich, take her out for a meal. If a daddy's poor, the American bison, one of two living species of the bison in the cattle family called Bovidae, is often referred to as the buffalo. Although close in genetic makeup, the American bison and the buffalo are in fact two very different animals. Bison tend to be larger, covered in long dark hair on the front parts of its body, and usually weigh more than the buffalo. The most obvious difference between the buffalo and the bison is that the bison has a large hump. The bison's hump consists of bulky muscles which are supported by the animal's long vertebrae. The bison uses its hump as a snow plow in the winter, swinging it side to side in order to clear snow. Snow is an obstacle for the bison because the central herd usually migrates from the west to the north during the winter. The only known predators of the adult American bison are grizzly bears and wolves, which are not just the only animals that can bring down the massive mammal, but the only animals that can keep up with the bison, which can run up to 30 miles per hour. Yellowstone National Park is the only park in the United States that has contained a continuous bison population since prehistoric times. Scientists, to the best of their ability, have estimated that there were 30 million bison in North America living in a harmonious cycle with the Native Americans. The natives cherished the bison and hunted them for food, as well as other necessary items. They used the entire bison and never hunted to excess, therefore the bison population was never in danger. It wasn't until the introduction of the white man and the horse in later years that the bison population was significantly affected. The majority of the killing took place in the 1870s and 80s, so much so that by 1890 there were fewer than 1,000 bison left in the, in the U.S., and until the 1920s, less than 50 in Yellowstone National Park. The bison was hunted for its meat, fur, and also for pleasure. Bison massacres were committed by the United States Army in an attempt to rid the plains of Native American tribes by decimating their main food supply. Pleasure hunts were also set up for tourists to experience these bison hunts. These hunts consisted of bison being herded into a group and then bombarded with bullets from ignorant tourists who didn't realize that not only were they depleting the world of a magnificent animal, they were also affecting their own habitats and environments in which the American bison is a cornerstone. Although the United States Army can be partially blamed for the demise of the bison population in North America, without their conservation efforts, the American bison would probably be extinct. In 1902, the U.S. Army brought two herds of 21 total bison into the grounds of Yellowstone National Park in Wyoming, where park rangers protected the bison to the best of their abilities from poachers and hunters. By 1952, the original herd had begun to mix with wild bison inside the park, and they have since formed two powerful herds. Since the bison population in North America dwindled to less than 1,000 in 1889, the population has grown to over 300,000 thanks to places like Yellowstone National Park, farmers, ranchers, and Native American cooperatives. There are now even enough bison to sustain a bison meat processing plant, the first of which opened in 1994 in Rockford, North Dakota, without significantly affecting the population. The American bison, although suffering for hundreds of years, are now on the way back to becoming a prominent species in North America. Lacking the sex appeal of the bald eagle, but not the determination and strength, it could be argued that the bison is the symbol of the United States that was lost in a fury of overhunting and exploitation. They are so integral to our society that they have cast their bust upon the back of our nickels and Kansas State quarters. Shannon Sharp once said, Come on, man. The Buffalo Bills might well be the worst franchise in the NFL, inexcusably losing four straight Super Bowls. However, if they were to change the symbol of their franchise from a buffalo to a majestic and persevering bison, perhaps they would not be consistently the worst team in the AFC East. The Native Americans revere this animal as a god and a key member of their society. 
Now it is time to recognize this animal as a symbol comparable to the bald eagle, the American bison, the American symbol.